How to insert table in MailChimp. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to insert a table into your MailChimp mail template. Now all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over MailChimp.com. Then you need to sign in or sign up for an account in case you don't have. So right here, we are on the main page of MailChimp. We're going to visit the MailChimp home. We're going to click on the uh, here emoticon. Then we are going to select the MailChimp home. Now we have the dashboard of our MailChimp. All we need to do is to access now the uh, creation of the email or the email template. We are going to click on create. Then we have here the choice of creating emails and etc. So I'm going to click on template or regular. So for example, you can go ahead and put or create an email. I'm going to put here internal name. It doesn't matter. So we are going to create a normal email. The first thing here is to set the recipients. Go ahead and add your subscribers, contacts, or your recipients to this specific case. Go ahead. In my case, I have 105 recipients. You can go ahead and edit them. And if you have zero recipients, you need to enter them manually or import them from a file. And here at the sender, make sure that you are going to set your email address. As you can see here, and also a little disclaimer, this email address and also my account for MailChimp and other platforms are only created for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses. So make sure to use your own account and don't use the accounts that has been mentioned. So for the subject, you're going to add a subject here. For example, you're going to put, for example, the subject here, email test email test the preview text is something that you need also to set and also uh, be creative and innovative about this so when you finish that you're going to click on save and here we have the send time uh, you can see here that you can add or edit the send time you can send it right now or schedule a time and here after each one of these steps, it will check the step. So we are going to be on the content, which is the last step. We're going to click on design email. Now we are going to see here the library or the template of the email. You can go ahead and use the MailChimp templates. You can see here the save templates, draft emails, or you can code your own a template right away. Now I'm going back to the MailChimp template. Then we are going to use one of these templates. So make sure to use the right template for you. Then you are going to modify it and also edit it. So let's go ahead right here and we are going to choose a template. Maybe I'm going to choose this one. So this is an upgradable plan. Here we have only the upgradable. So we are going to only use the free one. I'm going to click on this one because it is free. So we have clicked on apply. And now, as you can see, we have the images, the blocks, and also the buttons. So if you want to add the table or the table content, you're going to add here a paragraph. Make sure to add a paragraph to the middle. And here we have the start typing, as you can see here. For example, this is a, uh, for example, a demo of the table. So now all we need to do is to head over right here, the uh, text. Then we are going to see here the three dots. Here we have, we only need to set up the three dots. So, or 
if you don't see the three dots, you're going to zoom out a little bit right here until you see here merge tags. We're going to click on merge tags. Then we are going to uh, scroll down a little bit at the end. And you will see here the case of content helpers. Here we have the table of content. You're going to click on it. And here we have added a table of content. So this is mentioned and also it is attached. So each one of the text right here is added to uh, the or uh, every table content table, as you can see here, is added to the specific here text area. So as you can see here, we have the MC uh, two dot stock. We have also the copyright and also the footer is having the table content. So this will help for the coding and also the recipients uh, for the email reading also for the engine or search engines. So here we have done or we have finished with our email. I'm going to zoom back. Click on save and exit. Now we are going to see here the email and make sure that the content has been set. So uh, here we have the referral badge for the email footer. It doesn't matter. Uh, now you can go ahead and click on send and then you are going to send it to the recipients. After you have set up the email, don't forget to set up your audience because this is the most important part. You're going to visit here all the contacts. Make sure to add the contacts. You can go ahead and click on import contact uh, or add a single contact. Go ahead and put the email address, first name, last name, street, city, country, phone number, and etc. Don't forget also the tags to make the segmentation for the uh, for the people or the contacts that you have. If you want to collect some email addresses, you can go ahead and set up some sign up form. Then you can go ahead and create a sign up form. And this sign up form can be embedded into a website of yours or a store. It could be also a pop up form or a sign up landing page. For example, you are going to promote your brand and you are going to Put a, a grand opening or something like that. You're going to set up the sign up or sign up landing page. Here we have the uh, different options to collect email addresses. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.